Well, up until now, people have just gone and played golf. It's been a game. The arrival of Annika, Soren Stam, or Tiger Woods, or Lorena has completely revolutionized the game. It's turned golf into a sport. It's turned golfers into athletes. And the golf swing itself is one of the most physically demanding movements in sport. Club head speeds of over 100 miles an hour. You've got to keep the club face aligned to within one or two degrees of where it has to be in order to be accurate. So it's an amazing combination of strength, power, but at the same time, perfect accuracy, balance, posture, flexibility. It's one of the most amazing movements in all of sport. If I could light up your body with electricity and show you what happens, it would blow your mind. It all starts in the brain. These little motor pathways are called that send signals through nerves down through the spinal cord, out into the nerves, into your muscles. They make the muscles contract. There's proteins in the muscles that link up and contract really hard to make the muscles move. And amazingly enough, they do it all in sequence. And the golf swing uses pretty much every muscle in the entire body. It's the fact that there's the brain, the spinal cord, there's nerves, muscles, little pieces of incredible machinery inside the muscles, all contracting in a perfect sequence to make the golf swing work. It's just incredible as a physiologist, as a scientist, to investigate that. The book that we've designed, Physical Training for Golf, is really great for recreational golfers as well as for elite athletes because it leads you through the areas that you need to improve in order to be able to play the game at a better level and most importantly, safely without getting injured. That applies to everybody, recreational golfers right through to PGA pros. We've developed six key areas that we investigate, balance, posture, flexibility, uh, cardiovascular conditioning, strength and power, and then core stability, all of which are designed to help people play the game at a much higher level without getting hurt. So when you swing a heavy club, you're actually forcing different fibers in your body to recruit and move the club because it's harder to do that. So then when you go back to a normal weighted club, it feels like it's really light. It feels like it's easy to swing that fast. The problem is, is that because you've been training these slower muscles, you may not be actually moving the club as quickly as you were before. We have to do both. We have to be able to train the muscles to get stronger, but we have to train them also to move faster. And that's what's been missing up to this point. The easiest way to understand overload and underload training is to imagine a weightlifter versus a basketball player. Weightlifters lift huge weights. They develop massive muscles, but they move really, really slowly. It doesn't matter how quickly they move as long as they lift the weight. That's all about strength and overload training. The part of training that's so important for most actual sports is power the high speed movements that we have to develop in things like basketball to allow people to jump, uh, in track and field to allow people to throw javelins a long way. And that's the most important part of golf. We have to actually do both of these in order to be able to develop incredible strength and power in the golf swing. Strength and power, overload and underload. Power is force times distance over time. How fast can you move the golf club? We've never done that before in products that have been available up until this point. It's all been based around the overload, the slow component, the force times distance. Now we're able to do both force times distance and time where things can go fast. We can actually train people to increase their power in golf. Inside your body, you have two different types of muscle fibers, fast twitch and slow twitch. People use slow twitch muscle fibers to do things like the marathon. People use fast twitch muscle fibers to do things like explosive jumping and the golf swing. So fast twitch muscle fibers are able to contract with incredible force and power, but they get tired really, really quickly, which is fine in golf because you've got a few minutes between swings, so it actually works out really well. In order to be able to train your fast twitch muscle fibers to fire more effectively, you have to do two things. 
you have to make them stronger to develop more force and move it through a greater distance. And the second key thing that you have to be able to do is to do that faster. And that's all about power. So this is where the concept of overspeed training and underspeed training that's been developed around the swingature makes that device so perfect for actually training fast twitch muscle fibers in the golf swing properly. Well, for recreational golfers, the swingature allows you to learn, allows your body to develop the right motor pathways. The, the signals from the brain through the spinal cord, out into the nerves, out into the muscles, with the weight in. That allows you to swing a little bit slower with a little bit more recruitment that trains the nervous system and the body to fire properly. But then you can take the weight out, do the underload training also, and teach the body the nerves, the muscles, to fire at the speed that they're supposed to in the actual swing. It's the first product that's ever been able to do that from a physiological perspective built for the way that the body actually works. The portal that's available with Swingature is so critical for you as a consumer, the person who buys Swingature, to be successful with the product because there's three things that you can benefit from in using the product, from using Swingature. You can benefit from using it during warm-up to help prepare you to play the game at the range right before you start going out and actually playing around. It'll improve your warm-ups. If you use it consistently over time, the first thing it's gonna do is actually build up your strength, build up the pathways between the brain, the spinal cord, the muscles, so that you are actually stronger in your golf swing. The thing that'll happen next, if you follow the programs, is that we're actually gonna develop your power, teach the nervous system and the muscles to fire faster. This is built up in three to six week cycles that are built around what we've experienced are the best cycles to work with when we're developing elite athletes and making sure that they progress. So the portal is so critical for people who use the product to be able to be successful long-term. No, the great thing about Swingature is that it is based in science. This is a scientifically sound product. This isn't just people's opinions. This isn't just random thoughts or comments that people have about how great this product is. We can measure the effect of this. We can show that it improves club head speed. We've done this. We've done focus groups where we've tracked people training with the device over a period of weeks and measured randomly cross-sectional design in a research fashion, how effective this device is at improving performance. One of the cool things about the Swingature is it actually doesn't have a club head on it. The weights are inside the shaft. This allows you to swing in both directions and balance out the body. One of the biggest problems is we, in golf, we only activate our system in one direction. The fact that we can activate it in both directions and balance ourselves out is phenomenal for the nervous system, the muscles, but also for the health of your spine, hips, and everything else, preparing yourself to play the game. This is a product that I have no problem throwing my support behind as a professor at a university, as a scientist at a hospital, as a physiologist for the Olympic teams, because it is built upon the science of physics. It's built upon the science of exercise physiology fast twitch muscle fibers, slow twitch muscle fibers, overload training, underload training. I can back this up with science. If anyone challenges me on it, this is a product that I believe in, that I think will actually work to improve people's physical performance in the game of golf. If you train consistently with Swingature over a period of time, your nervous system's gonna work better, your muscles are gonna work better, your club head speed will increase, and the accuracy will be much better than you were before. Ooh.